All right, so I think we're getting into our last winner's quarter set here. DM Jeremiah. Um, DM Jeremiah. So Jeremiah took out Nuggets. Um, that was one of the bigger upsets of today so far. Uh, Nuggets is actually out already. Oh, Got like shit. 13th or 17th, something like that. Guess they used all the win that um, earlier tournament. Yeah. He, he won the one that mattered, but not his day today. So DM's done a lot for this matchup, uh, other than him missing Dare right there, but right. trust me. And lots like of, lots, this is one of the characters most changed from Brawl, honestly. Uh, yes. You can see it a lot with the way grenades like chain explodes and all at once. <laughs> that's good. And that's one of the innovations DM does. Uh, yeah. DM kind of throws that out if he thinks you're going to pull grenade. Because you don't really have a punish on that when grenade explodes. Right, yeah. And what he did there was actually punish an up tilt one, but it punished so many different options that could have been thrown out there. Exactly. So it ends up being a much better option than it would look like at first in sort of in a vacuum. And, and it, it works. Yeah. And if Snake does his default, like, I'm going to punish a swing, and you haymaker with an F, uh, F match, it's the same punish. That's always very good. I don't Ooh. think that was intentional going, jab. Yeah. yeah. He was going for either a down air or a stage spike or something. Uh, yeah. One this, is, uh, this is solidly in DM's favor so far, though. D yeah, Jeremiah's Only really never 40 had 40% to this point. Still on his first stock. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he just missed it. He, missed, uh, he just missed Dare up smash earlier, so I think he was yeah. feeling it. I'm not going to blind you all and say that combo's dead, hard, yeah. but I somehow miss that sometimes, too. <laughs> and it's like, how? This it move is massive. It can be awkward when you are moving side to side. That's really all I can think of there. Um, outside of that, yeah, it, it's big. Well, you're seeing here, so the risk reward on that's massive. It doesn't look it because you get really hard punish, but it's Mithra's highest one damage move. It is. It's a lot of damage. It puts you in a good spot. Also, like right there, it put him in sort of a pseudo tech chase situation. I don't think DM was ready for Jeremiah to miss a tech on like no. a frame. <laughs> it's 80 move. But don't worry about that. Yeah. Miss base is on Tomahawk, but that's a really good answer. I didn't, that I was didn't very think, solid. I didn't even think that was going to hit, but like there's no way missiles recovery yeah. in time to hit him. Yeah, Jeremiah kind of has to make plays, which isn't where Snake this is good. Should call? Yeah, then, okay. yeah. So that's, there's one stock. Yeah. But he's still really far behind. Yeah, he's so far down there. Brevity in the red to station two. He's just going to play Brevity Kyrie and the up. red yeah. to station two. Like, staying alive. Yeah, he's dead at that point. <laughs> That'll do staying it. Staying alive against Pyra at that point is so difficult because everything kills. She everything barely kills. has options that don't kill. And again, Snake likes to do those grenade con conversions, but that, as DM has kind of innovated, you can just throw Haymaker. Let me F smash that yeah. point. You can just start spamming F tilt. Yeah, exactly. And a, a, a thing to note is, while grenades do, I think, a little less shield damage than true damage. Yes. But still, is if you hit shield and grenade, you can't just keep doing that for a Yeah, it's, it's pretty significant. Yeah, it adds up. Uh, do you have played Jeremiah a lot last <laughs> season? And huh. the result in that is how comfortable DM looks in this matchup. Right, yeah. Because they used to have... Also, DM, uh, you know, still does play Pikachu sometimes, but this is one of the matchups, one of the very few matchups in the game that can actually be kind of hard for Pika. Yeah. Um, so the Aegis here makes a lot of sense. Um, and it look, he's just, he's really figured out this matchup in a way that looks incredibly hard to contend with. Missing the parry there puts Jeremiah... Can I get Brujo and Yossi to station but three. But yeah, DM really, let me have to capitalize there. But Brujo, Yossi, station Snake's three. Off, ledge options this are time really he's ready good. for the mistech. Yeah. He's the mistake on the and platform. He hits up smash. And he hits Dare <laughs> Up Smash. It's an early stop. That was really good. That was a very ambiguous height, and it threw up Jeremiah. It was. Jeremiah went for a super hard punish there. Probably could have gotten a free grab or something like that. Uh, he went for it. It looked like sticky into throw. Yeah. Which, was, uh, which probably would have killed, but was much harder. Didn't work out. The old PM classic. Mm. The kill yeah. confirmed for later. <laughs> Been there. That'll do. Yep. That's just the classic. <laughs> the classic oh, for okay. all games. Well, here's another hard thing is, so a lot of people treat Snake like he's always winning if he's grenade trading, and the socks even. Yeah. I would disagree. Especially above Mithra, Mithra's arrows are still hitting, and then you're taking more damage than Mithra was going to get yeah. from two aerials. On, uh, Mithra's moves, yeah. the, the only thing she has that can resemble a weakness outside of recovery is that she doesn't do a lot of damage per hit. Yeah. But if you're grenade Everything, trading with Mithra, she takes yeah. the lead there. You, you, you'll have combos that do 50%, but that's because they have eight hits in them. Yeah. <laughs> so that really negates a lot of the usefulness of grenade trades, like you're saying there. Whereas just there's no real reason... That was good protection with the grenades there. That was, there's I no like real the, reason to take those, but then you're also stuck in disadvantage for such a long time. I've also seen how uh, really comfortable DM is more around grenades. 
even though he missed the timing there slightly on the down throw, yeah. uh, he's not just letting Snake hide behind a grenade, and that's something really important that people can struggle with in versus Snake. Jeremiah is making this closer. Oh, that would have killed, but he didn't hold the job. That'll kill yeah, Everything's going to um, kill now. Certainly Jeremiah keeping this much closer. Uh, DM still taking the lead, but that'll tie DM really just jumps in. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a hard call. You did not have to be there. That, when you get hit with that, you got to think, okay, so I need to stop jumping when I'm pressing yeah. because they have a clear beat on that. So, oh, that, spot dodge. this is one of the matches where that move is like actually good and not just a Wi-Fi move because Snake pretty much has to jump to get around. Which, which move? Oh, uh, Blazing Edge. Oh, yeah. Because he has to jump and he doesn't have time to true punish. I think that move's like pretty that. solid in a lot of situations, but Snake especially just like, yeah, he, since he can't do, get over it without a double jump, it's very difficult for him to do much about it. Oh, Damn, that's so sucks. that sucks for Snake. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I think he was holding in because he was walking in, but he just went right yeah. where our smash was going to be. <laughs> All right. In the middle of the set? Uh, oh, no, the it's over. It was, nope. 